uh, hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, or I should say this morning, I couldn't, I really couldn't sleep this tonight. Um, I'm, this is mainly a gaming channel, but uh, I recently bought an iPhone 6S Plus. And I got this on September of 2020. And I bought it brand new because I didn't I didn't want to buy a uh, iPhone 12 for like a thousand dollars so I actually got this from a company it's it's a government company um, for low income it's called SafeLink and originally originally this was my phone and I had bought this for about forty dollars and it's a Polaroid. <laughs> it's not even LG or Samsung or not even Windows. It's a it's a Polaroid. And I've had this for uh, maybe three years, four years, three or four years. Uh, it's gotten real annoying. It's kind of, I mean, I'm glad I have it. It's kind of a little bit slow. Uh, I have a problem like when I put it to my ear. When I put it to my ear. And I turn on the screen and then I put it down to my hand and I want to push some buttons the screen turns off it does little annoying stuff like that and I really can't surf the internet on it at all um, it's just too slow and when I try listening to music on it um, it completely drains the battery within a couple of hours so it was just time to get an upgrade so I got this for roughly three, not three hundred. It was two fifty or two sixty, and then with income, with tax, it was like two seventy or two eighty. So roughly three hundred. Uh, so after I'm gonna do the unboxing right now. After I do the unboxing, there is a set of instructions that I have to do to transfer this service to this phone. I have to call a 1-800 uh, number and then put my pin and all this other stuff so I'll cut the camera and uh, I'll uh, edit this stuff on my computer and also um, before I open it one last thing um, I uh, run Ubuntu Linux on my computer and I read that it can the iPhone can uh, work with Ubuntu with a program with a program called Clementin it's a uh, what do you call it? A, it's a music player like iTunes. So supposedly it works with it. So let's let's get on with this. Let me see. Uh, I'm gonna try to use my letter opener. Uh, this is completely dull. It's not sharp. It looks like it's sharp. The only part where it's sharp is like this top, but everything else it's completely dull. It's a letter opener. So yeah, this looks like it'll work. Okay, there we go. Uh, what else do I need to do? Oh, okay. Let's see now. I'm trying very carefully not to let the bottom be exposed. Cause uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take out the bottom. I didn't realize that I could just take it off. Okay. I'll put that away. And uh, I've always wanted an iPhone for the longest time since I, since like. Since like they came out, like I think I always wanted, especially wanted one when I was in college and I couldn't afford it. I was going to school, uh, but here it is now. Okay, I love this picture. It's like I don't even know what it is. My when I first saw it, it looks like a butterfly, like flapping, and then I thought maybe it's an underwater sea creature, like a some kind of a special squid fish or something. But uh. I don't know what it is. It looks cool. Okay, how do I open this? Oh, okay, it's coming off slowly. Come on. Oh, wow. It's a big... And it's a really big screen, too, uh, compared to my old phone. Let me see. Yeah, it's a, it's a really... I can't even fit it in the camera. It's a really... That's exactly what I wanted, because... Uh, the old button, the old phone buttons were way too small. 
Oh, it has the film. And I plan on getting the uh, the wallet the wallet for this, so I can put my like debit cards and credit cards and cash in my wallet and fit the phone at the same time. So yeah. Uh, wow, big screen. Oh, the goodies. It has some it has some goodies in it. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so thin. It's very heavy too, but it's very thin. Wow. I love ooh, can you can I see it? Uh look how thin that is. I think I have like a pen? Let me see if I have a pen around here. Mmm. Okay, here's a mechanical pencil I have. So this is a mechanical pen. It's thinner than the mechanical pencil. Is it uh, thinner than a mechanical pencil? Or about the same size, really. Wow. Awesome. Uh, this is my very first really expensive, not, not really expensive phone, but for me it was. Got the camera right there. Got the little flashlight. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It has a where's the front camera? I guess it's right there. There's a little tiny dot. I don't know if that's it. So, without further ado, let's. Oh, before I turn it on. Uh, okay, let me see what's in here. There's a cover. It says designed by Apple in California. Some, some, it's probably the manual. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go through it right now. Okay, so this uses. It's a uh, lightning. I'm guessing. It doesn't look. It doesn't look like US the USB mini. It looks like lightning. I, I'm guessing. Uh, oh, here's a little adapter. That's really nice of them to put. And this is ooh, oh my gosh! I didn't know it's gonna have the the little headphone, the little uh, earbuds with the speaker on it. I thought I was gonna have to buy it. Eventually, I'm gonna have to buy another because these 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 are kind of break real easily. So I'm I'm just glad I got that. So that's basically it. There's nothing more in there. So I'll just put this back, that there, that there, and uh, let's power this up. I'm not gonna take off this uh, this uh, stuff right here until I get a protect uh, a, an official protector for it. How do I turn this on? Uh, mm, okay, I'm gonna assume it's this. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna assume it's this button right here. Let's see. Yeah, there he goes. First boot up. Come on, why is it taking so long? Low battery, no SIM card in start. start. Yeah, okay. Insert valid SIM card with no pin locked to activate phone, insert VIN cut with no pin lock. okay. 10% low power mode. Okay, um, let me just close that. Uh, let me see how far I can get with this. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna have to read the, a little manual that I have, Ooh, where's English? It should be like, oh, here it is. Select your region of country, United States. Quick start if you have an iPhone or iPad running I iOS 11, bring it nearby to sign on. If you want, you can also blah 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 blah. No SIM card. Oh, it brought me back. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn this off and I'm gonna well, I'm gonna charge it and I'm gonna try I'm gonna transfer my service over. So, so I'll stop the video right now. Slide to power off. Okay. Okay, it's powered off. Uh, I'll stop the video right now. And, uh, yeah. I'll be back with, uh, with, with next, uh, cut. All right, guys. Hey, guys, I'm back. Um, okay. 
I finally got my iPhone working. Uh, I think it's. I think about two days ago I did this recording. And it's been about two days, and I actually figured it out within the same day. But I've been messing with the phone, and I wanted to provide some extra details, so I just was messing with the phone and doing other stuff. So if you guys have trouble or you just want to see what features are on the iPhone, uh, and you're thinking about buying one, I'm gonna show you what what some of the things it's capable capable of. So first of all, I was having a network issue. Uh, it was it was giving me it was telling me to enter my phone number so it could send the code back so I could enter it into my uh, Apple account to activate the phone. And it I kept type I kept typing in my number and nothing wanted to come through. Nothing I never got a message back. Then I was thinking maybe I had to type somebody else's number and they get it, and uh, I I didn't do that. I uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on. So what I did to fix it is right where's the SIM card? Right here where my thumb is at. I took out the SIM card and I put it back in. I turned off my phone and I turned it back on, and then in the top where the uh, whoops where the network is right here where my thumb is it showed up so then I t so I went through the whole process again of setting up the phone and I s and then I put my phone number and it texts me back and I got the number and I activated my phone so it finally worked so if you're having trouble if you have SafeLink or one of these government phones or maybe if you even have AT&T or Sprint or something or even Verizon, Verizon Wireless or something whatever it is take out your SIM card Put it back in, turn off your phone, turn it back on, and it might work. That's what I did. So, let me go over you the features. And this is an iPhone 6S Plus. Okay. Let me see here. Uh, let me put in my password. Let me show you some of the stuff it has. Some of the... The, the phone I had, which was this one, this is not even a... I don't even consider it a smartphone anymore compared to what this can do. So let me show you. Uh, of course you have your clock. Uh, but this is kind of weird. You have to go into your health application and you gotta set up a weird way of setting up your clock. I don't even wanna get into that. It's so weird. But um, you can actually set the phone to use, to make phone calls on your wireless internet if you're phone service ever, ever goes down. I mean, pretty, I'm pretty sure some of you know that, some of you don't. Uh, what else here? Uh, we have iTunes here. I put like four songs in here just to see what it was gonna do. I didn't wanna do too much because I'm planning on putting a new hard drive on my computer because it needs a lot more space. Uh, so it's gonna get all deleted anyway. So I'm gonna have to reinstall so I didn't put too much. So here's a song. Can't hear it. Whoop. Hold on. That is so weird. It stuff acts up when you really need it to work. Whoop. I don't know why the volume was off. I jinxed myself, I guess. Ah, turn off, turn off your stupid phone. Okay, mm, what else? This thing, uh, calculator, uh, it has this thing called GarageBand, and I was putting my music in there because I was afraid it wasn't going to be able to play with iTunes, but I'm just going to stick with iTunes, and I'm just going to convert whatever songs that aren't MP3 to MP3. Uh, one cool thing is this compass. This is one of the coolest features. I mean, it tells you which is north, west. It even tells you the coordinates right here. So it's just so cool. You just turn it and it's so cool. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, and okay, I had today I had a really hard problem figuring out how to put music videos into my uh, iPhone. 
So I figured it out. So if you're having a hard time, this will work for you. So I downloaded an app, an app called uh, VLC, which is right here. I I uh, I installed it. Then let me see if I remember. Uh, let me see if I can get the settings in here. Mm. Let me see. It's not responding to me. I don't know what's going on there. Anyway, so you download the app into your iPhone VLC, then you go in. There's an option you have to go into. It's like connect to wireless sharing. It's something like that. We, you have to go in the VLC. You go into VLC. And then you click on network in the bottom and then it's gonna say connect to wireless sharing and then you're gonna type in your Google Drive uploading uh, information it's gonna be the same as your if you have Google it's gonna be the same as your your email your e email username and your password so you're gonna enter that into your phone it's going to log in and it's going to share the network between your iPhone and VLC. And then what you do, I'm going to change the camera angle right here. You, this is my computer. You go into, I wonder if I should uh, take off my camera. Yeah, I'm going to have to, I'm going to, have to take it off real quick. Then, I'm going to see, got to put my hand in it. Then what you do, right here, it's gonna say new. So, let me see if I can, I can I'm having a hard time. Uh, okay, you click new, and you're gonna click file upload, and then here's all your, your, your music videos or whatever, and you're just gonna click it. I'm not gonna click it though. And it's going to upload to Google Drive. And your Google Drive can only hold a certain amount of information. If you want more information, you're going to have to buy more space. So, But you can just delete it if later on after you put it in your iPhone. However you want to choose. Then, after it's in your Google Drive, you're going to log in into your, your VLC. You're going to get in your VLC and you're going to put your... Google Drive login and then it's gonna download from this web page and that's how that's how I did it because there are other methods but I couldn't get them to work and I was getting so frustrated this was just the easiest method that I found out so if, it, if there's an e easier method please mention it in the comments but um, I wasn't I was going on reddit and different web pages and forums and people were saying different things but one person said well, you can't do that anymore because it's like, it's already the information, the way of doing it is too old. And it's been outdated and that way doesn't work no more. So that's why I, I got so frustrated. So if, if I ever find some time and I'm not frustrated, maybe I'll try figuring out some better way. But I could not, let me show you something. I could not, I'm trying to find iTunes. I was on iTunes and I could not add it. I just, I was uh, like, let me show you real quick. I was in videos and it just, whoops, let's just say music videos. Let me show you real quick. Like, uh, just, whoop, queen, I'll pick queen. Whoops, let me move this over. Ah, so annoying. Okay. Anyway, weird. I can't. I can't. I can't remember how I uh, viewed the details. Anyway, look. I just got this video and I dragged it, and it says it just says link. I don't know what that means, but I put it here, and it does nothing. If I put an MP3 song, it'll go in there and it'll work. But if you put video, it won't do anything. So, just a heads up. 
uh, you're gonna get you if you're gonna get a little frustrated, but if you just use the Google Drive method, um, that'll save you a lot of frustration. Mm, and um, is that it? Is that all I'm gonna show? Let me see if I let me see if I have uh, any more things to show off. Overall. I am so glad I got this phone. Uh, it's really good, even though it's 2020 and iPhone 12 is out right now. I'm so happy I got this. I mean, this is like this is like next gen for me. Uh, I can't afford a thousand dollar phone, so paying like 270 for this was a deal. Was like uh, like a deal for me. So. Uh, Anyway, there's different apps you can install off the internet, buy or free. Here's Maps. Uh, I think that's about it I want to show, but it was a camera. Come on. There's my camera. Uh, where's my video? Video looks so much realer. Oh, that's so freaky how it show how the angle is weird. Anyway, mm, I guess that's all I can show you because I don't want to click anything else because I don't want to give personal information away. But uh, yeah, if you if if you can afford uh, a phone service or a smartphone and you want something good you want something new oh here's the headphones I, I uh, open them up uh, I after these go bad I'm probably gonna get a, like a beats version of it or something um, yeah so I have a safe link and I only I don't even pay nothing for the service it's free I have like 700 minutes a month and uh, I finally was able to buy this. Bought it on SafeLink. Uh, for it was two fifty, but with taxes it was like two seventy five. It took about five days, five or six days to get in the mail. Hmm, feel like I'm forgetting something. Forgetting I'm like I'm forgetting one thing to mention. But anyway, I'm extremely happy with it. Uh, I would recommend if you, I highly recommend it. And. That's it. Um, the next in, the next unboxing I'm probably gonna do. I haven't done it yet because I just have so much stuff to do, like technology stuff, and I'm just so behind so much stuff. It's just, it just gets very stressful. But anyway, the next unboxing I have a uh, PS P PlayStation One Classic Mini, and I'm gonna do an unboxing of that. And then after I do the unboxing, I'm going to mod it and I'm going to show you the differences between like the FPS of it because people were complaining about that and it wasn't PAL and the FPS was like 20 frames and people wanted 30 frames per second. So I'll show you that and I, I honestly, if you, if you know how to mod your consoles and stuff like that, they're definitely worth getting. I actually bought it for like $20 from uh, GameStop because they're having a sale last year during uh, Christmas or November or December it went Christmas November or December they're having a sale so I got it for like 20 bucks so I got so lucky so anyway stick around guys um, I gotta I gotta finish my Final Fantasy Tactics War the Lion series I can't get into that I just get so busy but stick around hopefully I'm planning I want to finish it before the year ends I want to finish all of it I don't think I'm gonna do the deep dungeon but I'm just gonna try to do as much as I possibly can I don't think I'm gonna do deep, deep dungeon I'm just gonna do well we'll see anyway guys anyway thanks for watching take care thumbs up like comment subscribe share <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Uh, and we'll see you again. Thanks a lot. Uh, have a great day or have a great night or even have a great morning. Uh, thank you. Goodbye.